Hello. I just realized that, you know, because my apartment has way too many electrical outlet plugs. Literally every 10 centimeters is another one because it's a new build, so it's a little more designed for modern people with all their tech. I can just plug it in and carry on. Uh, but geez, this sofa is so hard, and so is my mattress, because I really think the Chinese really believe that, like, uncomfortable furniture equals more productive people, when actually it just means I have a numb ass, and I'm now sitting on a cushion. I'm gonna buy a beanbag and a memory foam mattress next payday. Because holy shit. I love sinky stuff, I don't really like the hard stuff. I like when you can like sink into everything. Some people hate that, but I like it's okay sometimes to have a hard bed, but like every day you wake up a little bit like oh in the back. If you don't sleep on your front, and I sleep flat on my black. Flat on my black. Flat, fat on my black. Uh, I, I can't speak. Hey, this was like, there was one like this in Enter the Dragonfly too. Hello. Ling Ling. Fun fact in Chinese, Ling Ling Zero. Isn't it ironic how peaceful you are? Oh! Oh, look, it's like Halong Bay. Vietnam. But there's, there's places in China that are like this as well. But it reminds me of Halong Bay, Vietnam. Why, do, why are all of the Rhinox just constantly just mincing around like this here? La 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 la. It's like, fine, do you, but like... You know, why? <laughs> just like, why, why was that the run animation? Like, and how are they a threat? They're literally just chasing after everything by going, la la la. Anyway, do you want to hear the list of my renovations for my house? Sure you do. Uh, new apartment, but it hasn't got a lot of furniture in it, and the furniture it does is pretty hard, uh, as I mentioned. So, uh, I'm kind of thinking it's called cheesy, really. As soon as I've caught my breath, I'll return to collecting bamboo. Did you know Chi Chi is slang for breasts and breast milk? Yeah. Also, I live in China and I haven't met anyone called Ling Ling or Chi Chi. But, you know, I haven't met any Italians called Marco either, so. <laughs> Why are the Rhinox so short in this area? I don't actually remember this level at all. So yeah, I got a list on my fridge of all of the things I'm going to be buying for this apartment because there's a tiny closet, so I'm getting like a huge, a huge, a fairly big chest of drawers to put the rest of my clothes in. Dwight? Oh, fuck off, Dwight. Really don't like that camera pitching there. You know, China would be a lot better if there was a lot more traditional music just playing. <laughs> but like, you know, it's not like, you know, you, you know, a lot of these people, a lot of countries, you want it to have the traditional music just around. Like in Scotland, you kind of just want there to be a bagpipe player in the street. You don't know why, just other than, look, Fiending, we're in Scotland, fuck you because you want your life to be like a movie, but it's the same thing here. When I used to get the bus in Qingdao, right by the bus and subway station, there was a... Oh. 
there was a man who would literally just sit there and play the ahu, which is that long stringed instrument, which is where you get that that very stereotypical Chinese sound from. That's in a lot of their folk music. You'd hear that like every time we got on the bus, and it was like, oh, that's nice. Really, really makes me feel daring and adventurous for living in a country with different music and culture. He didn't even do anything. The mark of his dignity shall scar my DNA. Haha, <laughs> take that bamboo. The old bamboo, the old bamboo. Don't know what that song's on about. <laughs> Madison, Square Gardens. Bye, Madison. <laughs> The dragons, uh, when they're babies, so ugly, and they don't even look like the same art style as Spyro or any of the adult dragons. I, well, I was thinking about this last night. I actually prefer Enter the Dragonflies collectible because you're literally picking up all of these dragonflies and like catching them in bubbles and stuff, and you have different breath types, and that's like the only good thing about Enter the Dragonfly. But, like, I think it's pretty, like, important to point out that Into the Dragonfly had some okay-ish things, even if it was literally reiterating a lot of the same stuff. And, like, the original guys from Insomniac were like, we didn't make this, don't, please don't make us make out that we made this one, this one's terrible. And I was like, it wasn't terrible, it was just really bland and unfinished and boring after a while. There were some interesting things they did, but, like... A lot of it was just like touched upon like you gotta have money bags and money bags shows up once. And you're like, oh, is that it? I went back in full circle. So yeah, I'm getting things from my house while I'm getting I'm getting a bean bag at some point. Bean bags are expensive here because, you know, I think like most countries they haven't been popular for a long time. Um <clears throat> So they're not exactly something that you look for. They're just set fire to bamboo by headbutting it. Huh. Sing sing. Kind of feel like these names are kind of. Yeah, I forgot about the Yeti. Interesting. I see that they're using the same form of censorship <laughs> every time, man. Nice environment, let's just say. I really like the environment here. It's pretty. It's pretty pretty. Uh, I miss the fireworks treasure chests actually. In fact, that's one thing I said about Spyro 3. Really narrows down your treasure chest usage. It's literally like only a couple of ones. This is the first time we've even seen this one in this game so far. And we're on World 2, right? I'm glad they brought these guys back, but like, yeah. Oh, I missed a grasshopper. Huh. 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 Dead. Murdered. Yeah, there's a few things I wanted to get. I was looking online at, like, fridges, because one of the places I looked at had a tiny fridge, and I thought, oh, this is going to be shit. So I thought, like, I'll look at fridges myself, and uh, after a few months, I'll, um, I'll get myself a fridge, you know? And I was looking at these fridges that look like Marshall Amps, and I was like, yeah. I need that, but they were pretty expensive, and then this one has a fridge that's good enough, you know? And it, well, it's a fridge, it's, it makes my food cold, that's all I really need it to be. 
โอ้โอ้โอ้โอ้พีวีอาเจอร์ที่สกอตลาสซันบายบายพีวีไปเดินไปนะไปกันอ่าเนี่ยแล้วฉันต้องการเก็บเด็กอร์ชันส์แล้วฉันต้องการเก็บเมาส์ที่ผมบอกไปฉันต้องการเก็บของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของของ Some other things. And, oh, weight benches and a punching bag. That's like floor based rather than hanging based. Because I think my landlord would go nuts if we started drilling holes in his brand new house. So uh, especially for a heavy duty bag. Oh, I got to do that all over again because I kept dying. Get a question mark. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So that's uh, something I was doing. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next month, and the next couple of months is getting stuff that I need to put in the house, really, and just gradually like making it more homely. Huh? Did I just fuck that up? Then doesn't give me another chance. Smash to the mountain top. Smash, yes, he can. Yeah, some of this we can't do yet. Uh, yeah, let's do it again. Let's try this again. Um, how? I want to move to Vietnam next. That's probably my next one. I really want to go live near somewhere like Ha Long Bay, which looks a lot like this. Or uh, nearer the south in Vung Tau or something like that. I don't really want to go to Ho Chi Minh, but I like Hanoi. So I'm just gradually like thinking about that. I've been offered a job there already, but I just settled into this place, and they're still like, "You're gonna have to quarantine." And I said, "That's not fair on my cat." You know what I mean? Like now, this time we won't die. I promise. So yeah, I'm just settling into this and waiting for the long haul because my instincts tell me, and from looking at the rest of the world, I'm thinking while China seems to have its shit together with COVID, there is a risk. There's always going to be a risk until everyone's vaccinated or the majority are vaccinated that uh, COVID's going to be around, and I think we could, in all possibility. Have a uh, another lockdown in the winter or near Spring Festival is a lot of people's prediction. Wow, they really went crazy with this one, didn't they? But it's literally always teleporting only a few feet behind me. There's a lot. Oh, because the smashes area. Uh, okay, this is this at level until I get get smashed. Yeah, I was thinking of getting a drinks cooler because I thought that would be cool. I'm basically turning this into a bachelor pad. The other thing I'm getting is uh, I'm getting a series of like imitation Persian rugs and like circular ones, and then I'm getting a tapestry and some more like satanic. Like stuff as well.、Uh, I have a lot of satanic and Buddhist stuff because I'm weird.、Uh, I don't know why. I just like it. So I get a lot of this stuff. There's mandalas I can get. There are like all sorts of cool shits that I can get. Oh, ah,、oh, damn it! Problem with this laptop,、uh, this、uh, place is it's.、Um, 
the light switch is covered by the sofa, so I have to get up to get to the light switch, unless I move the sofa a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna drop my laptop. Oh, I can move this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's not a light switch at all. It's an Ethernet port. Shit. <laughs> well, I'm in the dark. Uh, we got 15 minutes. That was 15 minutes, and the last one was like 50. What the hell? We have Spooky Swamp or Icy Peak, and I think Spooky sounds cooler. Hunter. I'm kind of always disappointed by the characters in Spyro because I really want them to exude personality and world building lore, but they're just going to say things like, Hey man. Just so you know, here are the controls, because it's kind of aimed at younger people as well, so you're kind of sat there like, feels like it could exude more personality there, that's all I'd say. Is it going to load? Oh, there we go. Huh. This kind of looks familiar. Yeah, I remember this. Are you speaking in haiku? Why? What do swans have to do with haikus? Why did I go here? There's nothing here. Burn this guy's house. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm getting a load of, like, fake Persian rugs. Um, I was looking at getting some tapestries, but I'm not sure yet. Um, you can get statues that are like large statues of Baphomet made of iron online here, and I'm sat there like, do they know? But that's really cool, but I feel like I'm, it's a trap. I feel like if I buy a fucking giant statue of Baphomet, I'm gonna get put on a list. It's like a mosquito, but it's Waluigi. Waluigi. Wham! Z-axis there. Z-axis. Wow, they always get hits in those clocks. <laughs> like, notice how in the transition from Spyro 1 to 2 was different chests for everything, and then Avalar introduces new chests, you think, oh, because it's a new world, and then they go, here's the Forgotten Realm, and they have identical, and you're like, oh, it's just little things like that, where you're like, oh, come on, man, give me new chest designs, oh, there he is himself. No, your haiku poetry stinks. Sure, just shut up. Made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, you can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. It, does everyone have to speak haiku? Is there some sort of lore in this world? That sounds horrendous. Nothing wrong with haikus when you're doing them for fun, but it's like seriously, like imagine everything you have to say is a haiku. It's also, know what haikus are for. You're not supposed to use them to con like 
from this. <laughs> Use them to describe nature and things. So you know I was saying they seem to have dropped the kind of weird do so many thing thing for Spyro 3 and then they just now immediately brought it back again and I'm like, oh fuck. Did we even go through the door that he opened? I can't even remember now. Too busy floating around. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, just kind of gradually decorating and uh... It's like more eggs for me, but it's like one egg. Also just the way to complete the level. Ooh! Ah. Of one, so yeah, let's just go find it. There it is. The one I kind of jumped around before. You can tell they really wanted to reuse the ladder climb stuff because. This whole level and the entrance to the level is all ladders, and it's like, hey, we haven't used that yet. Next will be Head Bash. Schmeichel. Phasing out like fucking crazy. Did he take us to the place to show us the door opening, or did I just completely space out there? Oh! Ah, oh, look, Karana's come after you. You can swim in it for a bit. Ooh, interesting. I thought it was like you touch it and you die or something. Wow, I'm just not with it at the moment. Oh my god, uh. Okay. Oh, there's two. One is Sheila. Sheila's always fun. If this secret is a skate park, I'm gonna go fucking Oh! A hidden boss? A sleepy hidden boss. That lobster's sturdy as fuck. He said he'd show me a secret, but all he showed me was infinite death. The spark effect around their snapping jaws is actually really nice. And the spark effect on this bomb, that didn't count. Are you serious? But look at that's really cool. I really like that. Seriously, like this is the hardest bit for me. The royalty free magic effect as well, sound effect.
two more hits and I'm really bad. Sleepy Rhino boss is the hardest rhino we fought yet. Oh! Oh! Mini boss just for uh, that. That was very strange. Okay, let's go talk to Shayla. This one smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. Okay. Every time he hits one, then it goes boom. Oh, he's fast as well. You know, you just... But the rocks don't come back. So you could just clear the way in advance, and then it's just the mushrooms, really. I keep getting distracted by shiny things. Back later, don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it, Mark. was the house. Please stop. Haiku's hilarious. Uh, can we move on now? Oh, I remember this one. He either takes too long or he just stands right behind you and walks into shit. Like, take off the goggles, man. See, he's really fast here.
why would these be on an arbitrary time limit is beyond me. Sorry, if I'm here too early, you'll fuck up. And it will be somehow my fault. Seriously, look at this shit. I need to run in a full circle. You're like that goddamn satyr in Fracture Hills. I'm just gonna walk into the threat. Can you deal with it? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna help you. You need to learn the hard way, because you're clearly not helping yourself. Sorry, do I have to hold your goddamn hand? Was that too early or too late this time? Oh great, too late. Fuck you. Fuck you. Look at this shit. Oh, ow yourself. You deserve this. I can just do that and then need to do all this big dramatic. That was too early. He's a spaz. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stab him with my shoes. And rusty spoons. Oh, great. Wait for him to turn around and fuck up. Do a loop round and round. He boy, he's almost gonna walk round and round. You got one. I could have broken that cage. No, you're a terrible person. Because you know the other bro is going to be running round and round and hitting every mushroom. And these shinies are annoying me, so I've got to go pick up the shinies at least. I swore that was a crack block. So yeah, I'm getting a weight bench for the house, I'm gonna get like a punching bag, because I'm just preparing in case we are going back into a lockdown later, I don't know if we will, but you know, it's just good to have things prepared. You know, it saves me buying a gym membership, because there's no gyms near here, you know, where I live now, and I'm thinking, you pay a lot of money, and it's like, I use two things, man. So it's just like, yeah, you know what? I'll just do it myself, and then I lower the risk of any further infection as well, if there is uh, any risk of that. Which, you know, I guess there could be. Especially if you're out in public places a lot. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I can't get up there. Ooh. So yeah, I'm just getting my house basically turned into a bachelor pad in preparation for, uh, like I said, I was even thinking of getting a drinks cooler to put next to my uh, sofa here for gaming, uh, and just have it filled with like ginger beers and things that I like. But then I thought, oh, that's a bit unnecessary, really. <clears throat> a bit of a waste of money uh, when my fridge is just over there, and uh, I didn't really, I'm trying to stop drinking as many soft drinks, so... You know. Just one egg. Nah. Nah. Yeah, nah.
Oh, that's been 35 minutes. You see when the, they have the character bits added as well, it just really adds to the game time. But, you know, it's not a bad thing. I like it. So. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to turn the lights on. Oh. Yeah. We got so many.